Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River. As you can see, we are finally getting down to the last of uh, this corn harvest here. Man, has it been a long one. There is so much corn here. Thankfully, we are down to the end because our combine is also getting low on fuel. But uh, we should have enough to finish up. Uh, we still got 11%, so we should be okay to uh, finish up and get it back home. We only have a couple more rounds here. And then, uh, then we'll finally have it wrapped up. And then we can start the uh, long process of getting all of this soybean and corn stock straw cleaned up. Um, I do have one full truck right now. Our international there is full. And uh, <clears throat> our one Chevy is getting full. Uh, but we are getting through it. I did end up having to switch uh, to another grain bag. Um, the first one wasn't full completely, but it was, um, expanding beyond, it was at the edge, um, where we put that first one, there is a little bit of a kind of ravine right there, <clears throat> and the bag was just kind of, it was getting far too close for comfort. Um, so we ended up just saying, screw it, and, uh, we went ahead and switched to another bag, and, uh, found a little bit nicer of a spot for it as well, so that'll kind of help as well there. So we just got one more pass here, and then we're going to get everything home, cleaned up, put away, and uh, emptied, all that fun stuff. And then uh, we'll probably return John's grain beggar to him, and uh, we'll grab his rake. And uh, we do also got to run the John Deere over and pick up the uh, baler at some point so we might do that uh, right away as well then we have everything here ready to rock and uh, we can get moving so that is it finally the end is here oh this corn harvest never seemed uh, to want to end just went on and on and on. And from the looks of it, our grain bag is getting pretty full. Uh, we're at 156,000 in that grain bag right now so we got uh, quite a bit and it looks like we're gonna fill this truck so we're gonna have to dump a little bit into the last truck here just to get things wrapped up and then uh, we're gonna throw our header back on the trailer over there and we'll run the combine home and then uh, we'll get this washed up and put away we'll we'll worry about fuel later um, 
I mean, it's not going to need fuel to just sit, so. And uh, we might look into trading this combine off anyways next year, so. This guy home. We definitely have some corn straw out here to uh, get raked up and bailed up. Between the corn and the soybeans, we're we're gonna make probably quite a few bales. Uh, thankfully, Tim had let us. Uh, is letting us use his bale trailer again because uh, if we had to drive around and load that many bales we'd be here for quite a while yet and I did get a phone call earlier today as well uh, the property behind us there uh, just to the west. Um, it's been sitting vacant for quite a while. And uh, it's been talked about that there's somebody that wants to fix everything up. Uh, mainly the house, I guess. Um, fix the house up and move into it. Um, Apparently, it actually used to be his uh, family's house. Uh, it started out as, as his great-grandfather uh, running some dairy cows over there. And uh, he did a l small amount of farming, and then it got passed down to his grandpa. And then dairy just wasn't what it used to be, and... They ended up selling off and, you know, they sold all the cows, everything, but kept the place, but they did uh, move away and now he's got an interest in coming back to it. Uh, I don't really know if he plans on starting up farming again on it, but... be uh, kind of interesting to know there so we're gonna get the combine folded up here and then we're just gonna bring it down along here for now actually we could put this in the shed and we can put it along the wall so let's go ahead and do that we'll get her in here and put away as you can see, I didn't quite set the bag straight. I thought that it was. I think it might have actually oops, shifted a little bit. But All right, shut that guy down. end because we need that tractor out eventually um, let's see here let's grab this we'll go get that header and we'll get this oil unloaded at some point as well we will probably also have to mow the grass again here at some point before uh, the end of the year. It's pretty tall. But we'll take care of that at some point when we're not as busy. 
Right now the main focus is getting the farming done, so. This here is the bread and butter, not mowing the grass. Now I have not fully decided what I want to do with these headers. Uh, I think we're going to leave them outside. I just got to figure out where. Because we really don't, now with the new trucks and everything, I don't want to cram these headers into that building. I would like to get more of our equipment into the building as well. Uh, what I have considered doing is just putting the trucks and the combine in uh, the Quonset and then putting um, the spreader, drill, and... Oh, boy. Okay. The spreader, drill, and planter in there as well. And then uh, putting the two tractors in the heated building or something. Oh, that's way too far. What am I thinking? Well, I guess that's how it's going to sit. It won't let me move it now. It's better than it was. It's definitely way too far over. We'll need the combine to fix that, but we'll worry about that another day. So this up get it washed up and if we do end up keeping the header then we'll uh, put it in the shop next summer and give it a good look over and see if anything needs to be fixed but for right now I think it's just gonna be uh, we're just gonna throw it back here and forget about it for now so that unhooked and we'll go over and we'll grab that uh, grain head now see if we can finagle that out of there we'll get that washed up same with uh, the pickup here not even sure exactly where the hitch is to be honest right there, okay. So we gotta pull ahead a bit. Somewhere in there? No? Not quite? Maybe if we come back a little more? It's the only downside with the uh, manual attaching is in situations like that, you got really no idea of where you're at. So... See if we can uh, manage to get this flipped around here. There we are. Alright, we'll get the grain head cleaned up now. And then we can wash our pickup, because that's pretty much done too for a while, so with a lot of the heavy stuff. Trailer's good and clean. Alright, and then we'll take this and we'll pull it up behind that corn head there. And 
And then we can uh, start getting trucks emptied out and get those cleaned up and put away. this up right here because for the sake of uh, making our life a little bit easier we're just gonna select these from the menu here and grab them So I think we've probably got, well, we've got one bag that's almost full. Oh, boy. Um, so, I mean, that's over 4,000 bushels there. That's over 5,000 bushels. So we have a lot of corn. And I can definitely say right now <laughs> we might need to hire some trucking. Uh, or rent a truck, something, because to haul it out with just a crane truck is going to take us forever. And uh, definitely don't want to spend forever hauling. I would like to just get it out, get it sold, and be done. So we'll have to see, maybe what we'll do is we'll take a few loads in with a grain truck and uh, maybe we'll buy a semi if we can find a decent one that's a little smaller and kind of fits our operation. But I, uh, I will be kind of curious to see if uh, somebody does move into. Um, oh, I just can't see it. It's uh, that old farmstead back there. Um, I mean, I would like to get into cows, and it does have a pasture set up over there, but uh, it would kind of depend on uh, what that guy's thoughts are on things. If he's uh, gonna run cows or not. Um, I actually have not been in touch with the guy in quite a while. Um, we did graduate together, but we haven't really talked since then. Uh, in fact, I haven't even talked to him since I came back and started farming, so who knows, he might, uh, just might be interested in maybe coming to do some farming, which would be fantastic, uh, maybe get ourselves a farmhand there. That would be fantastic. But we, uh, we will have to see. We might have to give him a call and uh, see what he thinks, see what he's planning. This truck definitely needs a wash. This thing's getting really dirty. I 
It would definitely be nice to get a smaller semi, but in order to do that, we would also need a uh, little bit different augering setup. I mean, we could use this auger, but we'd have to try and find a uh, drive over pit or something. Or not pit, but uh, drive over auger or something like that. Uh, that auger there is not really going to work to unload a semi. Bag's going to go out into the field there, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is, I guess. Hopefully it'll uh, fit everything. It is getting rather full. Oh, boy. Might, uh, might sell a little bit of corn then. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We got this bag full. How full are we? 98%. So it can hold another 4,000. Less than that. I think we might be able to fit what's left in that truck. Boy, that's. I'm glad I didn't pull off that other bag any sooner than I did. Let's get this truck cleaned up and we'll get this one in the shed and then uh, we'll bring that other one over. We should be able to fit all of that in. That or, since we're right there we could just, why are we registering the skid steer? I want to wash the truck, not the skid steer. But, yeah we'll have to see. This truck will pull in. And we'll probably pull the other Chevy in right behind it. So let's see here. Uh, corn. Okay, yeah, it'll fit. We only have 1,500 in here, so. Perfect, that'll work. That's cutting it close though I'll tell you what boy <laughs> really cutting it close so I guess what we can do is we can stop at the pressure washer when we come into the yard and then we'll go around we'll dump it and then we can just put it inside right away and then uh, we'll get the bagger unhooked from that bag and we'll run it down take it back and uh, grab that rake. Alright, let's get this empty and put away. And hopefully we can get uh, all of our raking, baling, and hauling done relatively quick because I have a feeling it's not going to be long and we're going to be seeing some snow. 
so we want to try and get that done and like I said I do want to try and shuffle some equipment around um, I want to try and get that equipment inside before winter just so it's not so hard on everything okay and there we go we'll shut this door now if we come up here we hit X maybe um, I gotta remember how to do this now okay that that and I come back here and there we go now we got it unhooked and there we go now we can pull away from it so let's run this down first we'll run this down grab the rake and then we'll come back and we'll grab the John Deere we'll go down we'll get that baler uh, we probably will have to run down with the pickup as well and trailer uh, we'll have to take the Bobcat down and probably grab that pallet of uh, net wrap It's definitely a great feeling though, knowing that uh, all of our crop is now off the field and in storage. So we've got 100,000 liters of oats and beans each, and then there's the probably Oh, almost 500,000 liters of uh, corn, whatever that carries over to in uh, bushels there. Let's take a look here once it... Uh, so we have... Oh, it doesn't even register it in anything. Okay, well... We know we've got a lot of corn. We'll put it that way. So, we've got loads of it to haul out. Head back here, and we'll uh, put this back in the building where he had it. Really, really, really grateful for old John here and his son Jesse. I mean, it is mainly his son Jesse that uses a lot of this equipment. Um, it's just here at John's yard. But uh, his son doesn't need it right now, so you see they uh, got a pad poured. Looks like they're going to put up another grain bin. All right, and that should do it right there. So we'll get this unhooked.
back on to the rake. Put that on and hook the hoses up. And away we go. So now we can run this back and then uh, we'll grab our John Deere, get the baler back, and we'll be set and ready to go. Let's take a quick peek here. How are we doing on time? So I guess we'll have a little bit longer today. That's all right. This looks like a really nice rig. Kind of uh, excited to give it a go here. One day we'll have a nice rake like this. One day. Looks like there's been a lot of the fall tillage done already around here. And like I mentioned before, we might see about getting a uh, cultivator out here. Uh, kind of work under these corn stalks here a little bit. But that'll be something we worry about in the spring. We won't, uh, won't worry about it too much right now. See the uh, bale trailer still sitting there, so that's perfect. It'll be waiting for us there then. This cab, this mod brings back memories. Spent a lot of time as a kid in one of these cabs. When I was young, I just stood right there. <laughs> Or I made myself comfortable on the back. Okay. We'll pull this guy right here. Now let's uh, grab our John Deere here and go get that baler. Waiting on a phone call from Grandpa now. Seeing, oh, did you buy more, uh, more equipment? Nope. Not yet. <laughs> Unfortunately. We can't really afford to do that right now. A little too broke for that. So we'll see, we might end up raking the soybean straw too. Just kind of bunch everything together a bit, uh, if we can. 
but we'll have to see. Depends on how it works out with the uh, size of the rake. would love to get uh, expanded out into some of these fields over this way. I think maybe this one up here on the left looks like a decent sized one. We'll see. Maybe we'll buy some more land or who knows maybe uh, try and rent some ground even if nothing else. It looks like we are still good on uh, service on this tractor for a little while yet, so it'll make it through uh, baling and everything yet, I think. Auto save. So we'll get hooked up and then we gotta fill it up with net wrap. Perfect. Get everything hooked up there. So we got enough net wrap for a while. So we should be good there. It'll last us for quite a few bales anyways. This is a really nice looking baler. Uh, this is one that BSL modding is working on. It's actually in a pack, I believe. You get a few different baler options in it, so. It's a little smaller than, because uh, my grandpa had a uh, BR7080. So this is a 7060 here. Pretty close. Same, pretty much the same thing, though. I'm uh, definitely excited to try this baler out though. Huh, our rear tires are like flat. Oh well.
Okay, and we'll pull this guy up and uh, it'll be ready to rock. So that's going to do it today, folks. Thanks, everybody, for uh, tuning in. And uh, we'll catch you all tomorrow.